In this job, we're cleaning up some ditches for the homeowner. It is not going to show up on camera right. It never shows up on camera right, but these ditches are pretty steep. This one we're looking at isn't too bad, but when we go to this one right here, this big one that stretches all around the front, there is a pretty steep drop off, uh, especially on the property side, but then there's also a little bit of a drop off on the road side. So not only is it really steep, but there's a drop off that limits how much we can get. If I had to do this over, I could probably get more with the Ventrac than I got the first time, just because I know more about the property, I'm a little bit more confident. But that's what this job is. And right off the bat, I put it right in some kind of washout and get it stuck. And so there's a couple issues here. I had the weight transfer setting on zero because the last attachment I used was a power bucket moving some dirt and I forgot to switch it back to four, which would have put all the weight of this deck on the front tires, which would have given me a lot of traction. The other thing that I messed up that you should be seeing soon here that tire is not wanting to turn, it's spinning because I didn't attach that dual wheel correctly. I didn't torque it down enough whenever I installed it. So that was also hurting me. So all that within the first 30 seconds of work, it made me skittish for the rest of the day about where I was putting the Ventrac. That's another reason why I say if I had to do it over, I could probably get more done with the Ventrac than what I did with this first time, just because I didn't know the property and then this thing happened. So yeah, I was a little nervous. Fixing these tires in the field is not an issue. All you need is a breaker bar or you know a wrench uh, socket with a one inch. You're supposed to get a hammer to beat these things, but I just use the back of the uh, socket there. And then they're lefty loosey, righty tighty, they spin back on. And then with a one inch breaker, you just tighten that wheel back down and you're good to go. So that was the only mishap I had on this job. Thankfully, it was a quick field fix. And for the rest of the video, I'll let you enjoy the sped up work and the music. And there are a couple times that I uh, fall and make a fool of myself in the string trimmer. So I'm sure you'll enjoy those too.
knew I should have brought my muck boots. So here's the before and afters on that job. I am attempting to do this every three months. So if I do it again, I can film string trimming that big section of ditch. It was one of those things where I just didn't have the, uh, the energy or the motivation to film myself anymore. So I just shut the camera off and worked on the job. I underbid it a little bit. I also was running my truck lights and ended up killing my battery. So my wife had to come with the van so I could jump my truck off. So that made me feel real professional, but uh, always a good learning experience. Don't leave the truck running for four hours with the lights on. There you go. 